What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Legends Every Rella, aka Rella G's. And I'm back with another video, back with another banger. And for today's video, you guys are just gonna be going with me upon my day. Well, I'm talking like that, upon my day. Bitch, is this Romeo Juliet? But, anyways, y'all, yeah, as you guys can see, I have my green hair back in. I don't know if you guys ever seen me with the green hair, but if you haven't, this is Hawk right here, female Hawk right here, is what it's given, aka Young Slime. You know what I'm saying? I'll be naming my wig. So, this is female Hawk, aka wipe a nigga no slam a nigga out i feel like i'm really getting into that type of content like just vlogging and just doing regular real life videos because i want you guys to just feel like we are connected like you guys are a part of me i'm a part of y'all you guys could just see like how hectic my life really is because it really ain't what it seems to motherfucking be i mean my life is lit but i be going through some shit sometimes like there'd be a lot of shit going on and not necessarily with me but just like everybody just around me but hold on let me call booba because no, I'm not even gonna FaceTime him. I'm calling regular. He don't deserve to see my face because he's taking mad motherfucking long. So my he went to Target real quick. Real quick, it been 20 minutes, nigga. Yo, I'm coming, I'm coming. But yeah, y'all. That's what it is. I'm gonna see you guys in one second. I'm just gonna wait for my daddy G to get here. I'm about to do some TikToks real quick because that's what I do. And then, yeah. I probably, matter of fact, y'all could do TikToks with me. Let's find a TikTok for me to do. Um, let's find a TikTok for me. They mad loud. Like, I was about to do a video talking to y'all, but I'm like, they're mad loud. So I can't even do that. I did mad TikTok yesterday. Y'all, I be heavy on TikTok. I used to have almost a million on TikTok and my shit got taken away. Well, I got banned because, yeah, I was, like, doing a lot. I'm not going to lie. Like, I didn't get banned for no reason. It sounded like I was about to say that. I don't know what happened, but I know what the fuck happened. But, yeah, they banned me. But now I got a TikTok, and I'm about to hit 500K again. Let's see where I'm at right now. Oh, my God. I just hit 500K. Oh, my God. I just hit 500K. 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 500k, yo bitch can't do that shit. I make it happen in a day. I just hit 500k. 500k, I just, oh my god, what I'm gonna do for 500k? Hold on, I gotta do, I gotta do a video because I hit 500k. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. I was just talking because that's like, I had like 400. I had like 490 something. And I was just about to hit it. Now we're gonna do a TikTok to that because what the f Alright, people been looking at me like, don't look at me. Don't watch me, bitch. Watch TV. Like, fuck, you looking at hoe. I hear people watch me while I'm doing a video. Like, why you looking at me for? Like, mind your motherfucking business and go about your motherfucking day. That's the problem with you bitches. Y'all don't mind your business. Then when somebody gets slapped, it's a problem. I mean, I would look at my retarded ass too, though. I'd be like, what the fuck is this doing? <laughs> Like, take your sweet time, baby, because I'm over here doing TikToks. I'm gonna do a TikTok to my own time. Because, though, why would I do a TikTok to anybody else but my own? The fuck? I keep watching outside because I really don't want his car to pull up. Like, I don't want to watch him pull up. Because I'm really not trying to watch him pull up. Like, all right i might as well have just did a, a talking video with y'all because this nigga's taking forever so what y'all want to talk about like okay y'all i guess something telling people to ask me questions i feel like once i start doing a video he's dead gonna pop up out of nowhere i'm gonna get down to it okay y'all let's do this q a fuck that shit i'm not gonna wait on my nigga and i'll do nothing with myself Okay, y'all, so this is going to turn into a Q&A. And I'm back looking brand new and good as motherfucking ever, period. <laughs> hair queen LA on the hair. 
And yeah, hey, Queen of Lay on the hair. You see the hang time is hanging, bitch, and I look banging, bitch. All right, anyways, y'all, today we're gonna be doing a Q&A. So I'm just gonna answer some questions that I had asked people to ask me on my Instagram like two weeks ago, and I never did it. So we're gonna do it right now because I'm waiting on Booba, he's taking forever. So I'm like, I'm gonna just shoot a video. First question somebody asked me is, do you want to have a baby? You know, like at one point, not at one point, like, I don't know. Not that I don't want a kid right now. I'm not gonna have a kid right now because I feel like I'm not prepared for that because I'm always on go. PTSD, so I'm catching my pole on, trust me, so. But no, because I'm always on go, so it's like, where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put the child when I wanna be on go? So it's like, no, like, and when I have a kid, I wanna spend all the time with my kid. Like, I don't want, like, to have a babysitter or have my parents watching them 24 7 and doing all the extra shit. I wanna spend quality time with my child. So it's like, no, like, I can't have a kid right now just for that simple reason because when I do have a kid, I'm quitting everything. Like, I'm gonna just focus on my child. Next question is, how do you feel at this point in your life? Um, I feel very happy with my life right now, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I used to have a lot of mixed emotions, but now my emotions been, like, very stable. Like, I feel like I have, like, everything that I ever dreamed of as a Not everything, but, like, everything that I want, like, is just coming to me easily, not forced. And, like, I'm just manifesting my whole entire life. I've been manifesting my whole entire life. And I'm just really proud of myself and the young lady that I have became because I've been through some shit. And I got through it. And now I'm still motherfucking good. Like, you know, I eat good every day. I live good. I feel good. I get for good. Like, you know, everything just good. So it's like, yeah. I'm very content with my life. Thank you, God, Jesus Christ. Only thing I miss is my grandpa. I miss my grandpa. RP my grandpa. Okay. <laughs> That's my injury right there. But yeah. Next question is, are you and Booba planning on having a baby together? Like I said, y'all want me to have a baby so bad, I feel like, because I have mad baby questions, but we are planning to have a baby together when we are ready, but we're not ready right now. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's that pretty much. But, like, you know, when we do have a baby, it's going to be the flyest, cutest baby ever. Like, my baby is going to be it. It's going to be her or him. Whatever it is, I don't care what it is, it's going to be her or him. Like, next question is, when you doing a show in Indiana, I do have family out there. I don't know when I'm doing a show out there, but hopefully one day soon. Well, it's going to happen one day. I'm going to do a show everywhere one day. Next question is, how do you feel with hate and negativity? I really don't pay attention to hate or negativity because it's just like, it's not going to do nothing for me, but just eat my brain up. I just try to like... Like, at the end of the day, I know who I am. I know what I did before. I know what I do. I know how I move. I know what I got. And like I said, I'm happy with my life. So I don't even worry about negative shit. Like, everything, I just want everything to be positive. And I feel like I really found who I am. Well, I'm finding who I am more. So I don't even care about what people say. I used to care about what people say about me, kind of. I used to be like, oh my God. But now I just be like, whatever. Because at this point, like, they always say something about me. So I was like, how am I going to get mad a million times? At one point, you're just going to be like, whatever. You know, like, fuck it. At this point, like like what the fuck next question is how was egypt egypt was so beautiful i loved egypt so much like it was a great experience i was not expecting for me and booba to go there but it was one of my favorite trips like i loved egypt we went inside the pyramids like inside inside the pyramid the actual pyramid we had to like fall and shit i was sweating i'm about to die my freaking hair was sweating my makeup was sweating off it was it was fun though we rode the camels we did mad stuff the only thing we didn't get to do was go to the nile river and i was really mad about that but everything else we did but we're gonna go there again probably like next month so but i love Egypt. If you want to go on a trip, go to Egypt, girl or boy, whoever asked me that. Next question was, what has so far been the best thing that happened during 2023? Best thing that happened during 2023 was that I made it to 2023. <laughs> Life. I don't know. The best thing that happened, I don't know. A lot of good things happened in 2023. I can't say the best. Oh, I performed for Summer Jam. So that was the best thing that happened to me because I was going to perform at Summer Jam. So yeah. Next question is, are you and your man still together? No, we're still together. That is my husband. The hell? He ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. Next question is, what's your favorite color wig you had? Um, I like the pink purplish one that I had. I like the purple one I had. I like this one that I have. I like all my wigs. I don't know. I like all the colors. Red. I feel like I look good in every color. Like, all right? Like, what bitch you know? Slays every wig color. Like, I feel like no color look ugly in my head. Like, bitches be like, oh, you're yellow tone, so this will look better on you. That color won't look good on you. Bitch, every motherfucking color look good on me, bitch. I feel like if you pretty and you look good, any color gonna look good. Like, you can't tell me that a color not gonna look good on me because I look good. So, fuck you mean I'm yellow tone, so I can't wear this and I can No, bitch, I could wear every motherfucking color. The hell? I don't know what color to do next, though, because I feel like I did all the colors in the rainbow at this point. Like, I don't know what to do next, but we gonna figure it out. 
Next one is if your house was burning down, what is the first item you're bringing? My hookah. I'm like, oh shit, I'm grabbing a hookah. No, I'm kidding. I'm grabbing, I'm gonna try to grab all my clothes. Fuck you talking about, and my sneakers. Like, I remember one time, we thought there was a fire in my mom's house, and my room was like downstairs. And bro, they was like, fire, yo, I came with the stuff for all my sneaker boxes. I'm like, where? I was like, hold the fuck up. Next question is, if you was to cheat on Booba, who would you cheat with? No, nah, I'm kidding. I would never cheat on my motherfucking daddy G. That's my motherfucking husband, okay? Period. I ain't no motherfucking cheater. I'm a loyal ass, good pussy, have an ass, pretty ass, motherfucking money, have an ass, bitch. Next question is, are you going to make music with Didi Osama? We were talking about it. He was that supposed to get on the Gangsta Barbie remix, but he was taking too long to get on it. He didn't get on it fast enough for me. Like, it had to be faster, and he didn't do it fast enough. But yeah, I'll do a song with him. Next question is, why are you so toxic? Because pretty bitches with good pussy, they just toxic. That's what it is. Pretty bitches with good pussy, they toxic. It's not that I'm toxic. It's just like, don't play with me. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Next question is, what's your go-to lunch recipe? I love Spanish food. I don't know. What's your dream career? My dream career would be, um, I don't got no dream career because I'm going to be what the fuck I want to be. I don't got no motherfucking dream career. Okay, y'all. I got to get out of here because my daddy Jesus is waiting for me. But I love y'all so much and I'm going to answer some more questions probably later on. But if I don't. I'm going to make another second video, part two. I love you guys so much, though. And make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on my post notifications. I love you guys so much. And I'm going to see y'all on the next video. Miss Wu Tech, keep a knock in the back. Fuck all that dissing and politicking. Because, bitch, I'm on your side trying to see where you at. Give a fuck who you with, what you do, what you drag. If you think you could be me, bitch, you smoking crack. I got all these ops and I'm still on the map. These bitches, this pussy, I know that's a fact. They gon' keep with the cap to these bitches get smashed.